Hi, we are the Emotional Responders. In our film, we will utilize a leader member exchange theory to explore how emotionally intelligent leadership can help newly hired employees cope with social isolation due to stay at home orders during a pandemic. The leader member exchange theory argues that employees who develop better quality relationships with their managers and become an in-group member will more easily adapt to their work environment. Our story illustrates how dysfunctional interactions with other employees can push a newly hired employee to become a member of an outgroup and feel lonely. It also shows how leaders can counteract these obstacles by influencing those employees to move from loneliness to love. Now sit back and enjoy the show. Hi, I'm Harmony. You must be the new guy. How are you? Oh, hello. Uh, I'm a little nervous um, about my first day, but we're doing okay. How are you? Oh, you know, another day, another dollar. I recommend you watch out for the people on this team. It seems impossible to feel like part of this group. Just watch, you'll see. I recommend you just clock in, get your work done and clock out. Hello. I will be right back. And watch out for that one. She is the worst. Good to know, thank you. Hey, Alexandra. Hello, Laura. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you for asking. How was your weekend? It was good, thank you. Hey guys, how are you? Hello. How's everyone's weekend? Good. Oh, good to hear. Mine was amazing. I beat good old Laura at fantasy football this weekend. And Alexandra, you're next. Harmony, how was your how was your weekend? I've had better weekends. Okay, uh, Ollie, welcome to the group. This is the team. Um, everyone, this is Ollie, our newest member. Uh, Ollie, how about you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, thank you. Um, as said, uh, I'm Ali, uh, and I look forward to contributing to the group. Wonderful. All right. Hey, bud, thanks for joining me in here. Um, I just wanted to let you know that you're doing a great job in the meeting so far. Your ideas are innovative, and you're bringing a fresh perspective. Um, I just um, sort of see this disconnect from when you were interviewing with me, you had this very um, upbeat, energetic um, vibe to you, but right now you're sort of like um, a little down, depressed, everything all right with you? Uh, thank you for the kind words, sir. Yeah, it's been a whirlwind of the first day. Yeah, that's understandable. Um, just realize that I, I like to cultivate a team environment. I appreciate the feedback, sir. Um, I'm confused why Harmony seem to have a radically different view of the team compared to what I have witnessed today. Uh, yeah, uh, Harmony. Unfortunately, um, Harmony and I started off on the wrong foot 
um, management wanted to go in a different direction and felt I would be better suited for the leadership position of this particular team. So, but I wouldn't worry too much about it. I'll address it and we'll, uh, we'll work through it as a team. But again, good job so far. Uh, Harmony, I want to touch base with you because I feel like we got off on the wrong foot. Well, you know, everyone was so much nicer when I was leading the group. I feel like no one respects me anymore. Uh, that's understandable. I'm, I'm sorry that you feel that way. Um, I could assure you uh, from the conversations that I've had with the other team members that they value as valued you as a leader and still look up to you in many ways as a leader. Thank you. I really appreciate your words. Hey boss, where is the newbie? Is he missing the second meeting? One new guy. Oh, uh, that reminds me. We have a new team member, Rose. His name's Ollie and it's his birthday today. We should probably do something to make him feel welcome. Mm, what do you purpose we do? Hey, how about we do a surprise birthday via soon? Oh, that's a great idea. Harmony, you were always great at surprising us when you used to do it. You think you can convince Sally to log into a team meeting without giving everything away? Yeah, I can do that. Harmony, do you not recall how good we got Rose in, on her birthday? Yeah, I do. Cool. Harmony, work your magic. Happy birthday to me, happy birthday. Surprise! Oh. Happy birthday, Ollie. Thank you so much. You guys really made me, you know, take me by surprise. Thank you. Welcome to our team. Oh, thank you so much, um, everyone. It was, you know, I was alone with myself at, at, at my home doing my birthday party. So thank you, you guys, me, you know, made me so much, so happy today. Are you good to see you <laughs> well thank you it's so nice to see you so nice to see you <laughs> so cigar stage is yours and okay and just to let us enjoy this joyful experience even more further my my pleasure and first thing i've got to say harmony i know i don't think that's your real name but in the thing harmony my god what a dissatisfied and alienated employee and and super impressive at the acting of that i mean that line after so how was your weekend I've had better. Like, I mean, it was, it was very powerful. And, um, but also a really beautiful um, description of what a lonely employee does. Because one of the things that we know, and, and Hakan is also the expert in this, is that when people get lonely, not because he's lonely, but because he, we've published together on it. When people no, get lonely- I've never um, been lonely in this whole pandemic, so I can assure you that. <laughs> they start to actually reject other people. And again, I'm sure all of you who've been in class this year know this, but for those alums who may not, 
that when, you know, you would think people would reach out more, but actually when they're lonely, what they do is they start to push people away, which is what Harmony was, was doing. And so, um, and so I really, I thought um, that it was really also very impressive that the leader checked in with Ali, like he realized, he used his emotional intelligence skill of perceiving emotions, say, this person who I'm dealing with is not the same person I interviewed. And the fact that, that you know, then, then Ali says, well, you know, kind of tells what Harmony had said. And then I really was impressed that the leader went to Harmony. Like there are a lot of difficult and authentic conversations occurring across the film. And, um, and so, it's funny because in this, oh, and by the way, I like the Starback call, the Star Wars callback. Um, but in this, um, in this set of, in this film, you know, they talked about moving people from loneliness to love and really, and, and actually um, Arash was very good at mentioning this too. There were really two people that this happened with. In one way it was Ali because I mean, the poor guy, he, I mean, he's alone in COVID on his birthday <laughs> and clearly lonely and the leader was really good at, at, at sort of bringing him out. But for me, the biggest transition from alienation and loneliness to love was harmony. And that what the, the leader did by understanding the problem, reaching out to her, um, and then doing what is best with lonely people, which is not only showing them that you care, but giving them shared work, leading them to become close and important to the group by having her lead the holiday party. So he actually did two things at once. He helped the lonely employee who with the birthday do better, but he helped really the loneliest employee, Harmony, feel like even though she had felt rejected and ostracized in some ways by not being chosen, he brought her back in. And, and so I think I thought, know, what's really fascinating yeah. is it takes only a few seconds to make that overture. And if you do it, it's almost this chaos theory. The whole course of things change. And if you don't do it, it might be a miserable path that you can take. So exactly. it doesn't take a lot of hours, but some courage, but a very like a strategic, uh, a few seconds conversation that can change the whole course of relationship. What I really like about what you're saying is that he was strategic about it and that's part of so emotional intelligence you know has the component of being able to read emotions being able to understand and strategize around them and then being able to regulate other people's emotions and so exactly Hakan, he was thoughtful about how he did it and so um so again i thought that that um the creation of the empathetic relationship and the fact that this group did the double loneliness and their integration of it was very sophisticated and and very impressive